Hey guys, this is Eric Gospel with Summit Lending. Check this out. And listen up, appraisers, because we're going to make a few of you rich. Here's what you have to do. Go through your files, find an area where you may have done something that was marginally fraudy. You know, just a little bit of fraud. Then make sure the appraisal had something to do, this is a big part, with Bank of America. Then the next step is, guys, all right, ready? Contact the FBI. That's right. Find an appraisal you did that's, you know, fraudy with Bank of America. Then call the FBI and tell them what you did. Oh, and don't forget to tell them that you felt pressured to do it, even if you weren't. Trust us on this one. Here's the reason why. Robert Matson, who at the time was an appraiser, appraised these 14 homes. These homes had water damage to some degree. The source of the problem, well, it wasn't really known. The issue should have been marked clearly on Freddie Mac's form 70 slash Fannie Mae 1004 URAR report. Should have been, but it wasn't. Rather, management said to state that the cost to cure was only $6,000 and he followed management's instructions. That, my friends, is fraud. He felt so bad that he contacted the FBI about his own fraudulent behavior. He became, well, a whistleblower. And as a result of whistleblowing on himself, he found himself a recipient of part of the Bank of America $16.65 billion federal lawsuit, which was allocated to whistleblowers. And guys, $16.65 billion is an awfully big number. So the amount going to whistleblowers is, well, you decide. <laughs> his portion for whistleblowing on his own appraisals that he did done wrong because he felt pressure is $56 million. <laughs> now appraisers, appraisals, we all know, they don't pay well. And with the new Fannie and Freddie changes, it's going to make it a whole bunch worse. So you need to get in on this whistleblowing loot that's available to you. Oh, and uh, by the way, he's not alone. In another case of whistleblowing against Bank of America, four people split $170 million. So again, he's not alone. But the key is you got to whistleblow on companies that make a bunch of money because it's those settlements that pay the big dough. Yeah, Frank's right. Appraisers, whistleblow on yourself. 56 million bucks. I mean, think about this. If you turn yourself in, you might get rich. What, what a racket. I mean, Bloomberg summed this up perfectly when they said, it is possible to overdo the talk of incentives and in banking compensation, but I mean, that's quite an incentive. Appraising some homes properly will get you, let's say, fired by your crooked bosses. Appraising those homes improperly will get you let's say, a nice little bonus. But appraising them improperly and then calling the FBI will get you a whopping great $56 million. Okay, all right. The last point is this, and I want you to think about this in all seriousness for a change. This is all tongue in cheek today, right? It's true, but it's crazy, so there's no other way to deliver it. Think about this. If this guy felt so pressured to flush his professional ethics down the toilet and fudge on appraisals that's going to pay him about 300 bucks each, how will his ethics fare when a federal prosecutor gives him $56 million? Do the math. Hope you enjoy that information. Again, call us or email us with any questions. My name is Eric Gospel for Summit Lending. Have a great week.